Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. I'm Matt! And welcome to episode 170. <laughs> um, last, last time, episode 160, Geo chose Zombieland, now I get to choose. Oh boy. I'd like to take you back. Back in time? Back to the past. Oh boy. When there were Lego movies. A few of them. Sure, I remember the Lego movies back then. But they weren't good. They weren't like Oscar winning material like they are today. No. Like Lego movies like not. Batman. And I'd like to remind remind you all, nostalgia time, of a wonderful Lego product. That's a predate predates today's Lego action figure things they do. Fuck yeah. that. Bionicle. Bionicle! It had evolved from Throbots. Oh my god, that's right. And they were great. Yeah. And it had was... a story. There was an online game. It was like yeah. Point to Click Adventure that I loved. Yeah. Though I could never figure out what to do because I was an idiot child. <laughs> yeah. Where's we all? Six masks related to the six elements that they decided exist, even though Earth and Stone are the same thing. <laughs> and pretty much, pretty close to Leaf as well. There was no wind. That was sight. <laughs> that was actually combined into leaves. That's right. Because you had Tahu, a, a fire. Gali, for water. Poatu, I think, for stone. No, Poatu, yeah, Poatu for stone. Otuo, for earth. Kotaku, no, not, not Kotaku. Kopak, Kopak, Kopak. Kopak, yeah. For ice. And Levi, for, um, tr jump for, uh, for leaf. Yep. They were in the world of Mata Nui. Ah, uh, good old Mata Nui. Who is also the god, Mata Nui. Yes. The Mata, Ma, the Mata, the, uh, Matoran people. And their various Turaga elders. I forgot how much lore there was. There is an insane amount of me. lore for this Lego toy. Oh my god. And the evil spirit of corruption, Makuta. Makuta. And the masks that give superpowers. Because that's it. <laughs> from from originally when they were just fighting animals to the Borok plague. Oh my God, yeah, I remember that. And then they uh, they got dunked in silver and evolved into the Toa Nuva. Yeah, and got silver armor. Dude, my uncle's red. And then they got a move. They had a comic book series did, published yeah. by DC that they I was did. I re read religiously because as a kid I had um, I had a subscription to, sub subscription to Lego magazine and every other month because oh, the, okay. they'd have a they'd have a magazine one month and a catalog the next month. Oh, okay. the magazine was more was better because it came with the with a Bionicle comic book. That's badass. And the the last issue. Because when they're like, shit, we're making a movie. Right. Led into the movie, but the movie covers other stuff. It's like, find out what happens in Bionicle, The Mask of Light, which is what we are watching today. Woo! Bionicle, Mask of Light. I'm excited. The movie. The movie, boys. For the first time ever, the world of Bionicle comes to life in an epic motion picture event. Bionicle, The Mask of Light. Experience the action-packed adventure that has enthralled millions of fans. Discover the latest chapter in this legendary story in an all-new CGI animated movie. It's non-stop action as Jaller and his best friend Takua set off on their journey to find the seventh Toa, a mysterious guardian <coughs> who will help protect their island home. With the guidance of the Mask of Light and the united strengths of the other six Toa, the brave companions must overcome the powerful Makuta and his menacing Rakshi. They must prevail, or the island of Matanui will be doomed to an eternity of darkness. Oh no! I hope our heroes succeed. I think it's Canadian. It. I'm pretty sure it's Canadian. Fucking name. Anyway, I'm excited. Uh, Blast I, of the past. I haven't seen this for over ten years. It has me. sequels. It does have sequels. Let's do this. Yeah. In the time before time, far beyond all you imagine, there is an island paradise where legends are real. Protected by six mighty guardians. Threatened 
by one immortal enemy. Their unity, their duty, and their destiny I must shatter. Only a mask of light can defeat the darkness. Trust in the mask. Let it be your guide. of Light, the movie. This was a very strange, random, and amazingly lacking any violence movie. There is absolutely, like, there is maybe one violence. People never hit each other with their weapons. They never. shoot energy bolts. And hit the ground to make they, stuff not happen. They hit the ground a lot in this movie. Like, Tahu is always going to be, he sees the Rakshi, and he stabs his sword in the ground, and fire comes nowhere near the Rakshi. But it works. But it doesn't, ever. <laughs> but it also doesn't. He, instead of just the simple thing of hit Rakshi with sword. <laughs> Which the Rakshi do. They just fucking... Yeah, they hit, they they hit, hit people. Him. They hit them with their see, weapons. That's their superpower. They can hit people. <laughs> and fly. Yeah. They can also fly. We, we start with a sandbox and some rocks and a, a voice saying that... Telling the, his, the legend of Bionicle how there was a world and then Mata Nui fell... The great spirit fell from the sky. Yeah. And made them a tauren who were floating rock, floating pebbles. <laughs> but then he gave them the three virtues. Unity, Unity duty, and, and destiny. destiny. Two. Hey. The Taken King. <laughs> and everything's cool. And they named the island Matanui after their god spirit. But then the god spirit's brother, the Makuta, who is also a rock... Falls from space. He's a shadowy rock. Shadowy rock. He's cool. He is cool. And he puts the Matua, Matanui to sleep. And then a lot happens <laughs> before this movie starts. Because the because what has to happen is the Toa show up. Well, for it the like the, the little backstory leading up to this movie. There first, there are the Rahi are losing it. Because of Makuta's corruption. Yeah. Rahi are just animals. Right. But they're doing shit they didn't do before, like attacking the Torans. So then the the Matua sends the to like awakens the Toa. Yeah. And they go to do their thing. Yeah. And then they beat them. Then the a swarm of insect monsters called the Borok show up. <laughs> <laughs> so the Toa fight them. And then they find out there are Borok queens, so they get in, in mech suits and fight them. <laughs> but after they fight them, they open this thing, this thing full of silver shit that makes them into superhero, into the to mm -hmm. the Toa Nuba, which they start as in this movie. Okay. And then they have to fight the Borok Kal, which are super Borok, who are also silvery. <laughs> And then we get to where this movie starts. It's just safe. The real fuck was all that? Like, why Why did you do the less interesting shit? I want to see them get into mech suits to, to see... fight the alien... Two alien queens? <laughs> Come on, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I saved that, I guess. Fuck. And never no. make that. No, aw, oh, that's sad. And so we start out with... A guy with um, Jala, Jaller, Jala, yeah. who's wandering around Takoro, the Sapphire City, One. the Fire Nation, <laughs> yeah, and lo looking for his friend Takua, who is the Chronicler, meaning he chronicles stuff. And he's hopscot. He's um, stepping, stoning over a river of lava to grab a rock, as you do, 
and then the rock breaks. No, he the rock falls from the he drops the rock in the lava, and a mass comes out of it, and he picks it up out of the lava, and it hurts him because it's hot, but he's a robot, and you he's also. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, it's, like when he, it's like when he claps. Yeah. Like, how 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 is this sound made? I don't know. They have robot hands. Like you you can't do half measures. You can't have him pick something out of lava and have him find him hot. Have <laughs> find it hot, but also be beside lava and not be dead. <laughs> I... Hey hey, he was fucking on top of lava right before that. Like, yeah. He and so Jal is like, "You're an idiot. We have to go play Coley." Don't even get me started on Coley. We but I'm going to have to go into Coley in a bit. <laughs> this, game, this movie's whack. This movie's amazingly <laughs> stupid, and I love But at least it was only 73 it's minutes. only 73 minutes. God so, bless. The, all, the rocks disappear, cause, and then there's a lava flood, but then Toa Tahu shows up, voiced by Scott McNeil, because he's a character <laughs> in an animated thing. He, he, that guy always shows up somehow, somehow. And he goes surfing on the lava with Ta, with Takua. Yep. And then he and Joe. Th- this is just an action scene. So far, everything's been an action scene. Then you go to another action scene and play a game called Koli. Yep. And Tahu and Gali don't like each other, and Potau is trying to play a peacemaker between them. He's a very like. It's un- I find this uncomfortable. Because they're all siblings. Yeah. But Gali and Tahu display an unhealthy amount of sexual tension. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's there's definitely, like, something going on there. It's fucking weird. And then Coley happens, which is pl- which is a, th- a three-way soccer game with hot- with hammers? It's, it's, like, it's like if you take rugby... And then you just disregard all the rules, but you kept the fucking, like, racket. <laughs> well, it's... There's no racket in rugby, though. Oh, fuck. No, I meant, uh... Oh, what's that stupid fucking sport? Polo? Maybe. Cricket. All the above. <laughs> Polo's the one where they ride around on horses, on horses with, with long game. hammers. Yeah. And it's a stupid game. <laughs> it's a, I love the various games that are just bored rich people games. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what are we going to do today, Jameson? Hmm, let's see, we have a gaggle of horses and a gaggle of hammers. I got it. <laughs> a gaggle of hammers. I love the phrase gaggle. Oh, yeah, I love the word gaggle. I love the name for a group of tigers. An ambush. <laughs> Call it like you see it, huh? <laughs> An ambush of tigers. Oh, that's a that's troop funny. of monkeys. Ah, oh, monkey troop is good. A parliament of owls. That's... That's just like that's that's scary. That's the movie Rockadoodle, with the Duke of Owls and his plan to kill the sun. Yeah, Rockadoodle's a weird fucking movie. <laughs> what the f- what? Yeah, Coley's a stupid game. Yeah, so there are three goalposts. Yeah. Three. Well, okay. As, as soon as I say that the sport requires three teams, <laughs> yeah. already it's stupid. And each team is of two people, one with a hammer and one with a hammer and a shield. And they have, so there's one goalie each team and one player each team. And they have to get the ball in the other person's hole. Yeah. The holes are obviously giant stone heads. Yeah. Because of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Come on. And so, um, the blue ones win. Yeah. Uh, That's it. That's all that happens. Yeah, the blue ones win. They all bow. And then the mask of light comes out of the backpack. That is it Jaller's? Jaller's backpack. Yeah. And then Jaller and Takua have to go on a quest to find the Toa of Light. Yeah, she could. Because there is a prophecy. Because there's always a fucking prophecy. I am fed up with prophecies. As much like I've rewatched the prequels recently. I like them. Yeah. The pre the prophecy is still inane. Prophecies are in name. Harry Potter got a name when they got in a prophecy. Star Wars having a prophecy is a name. Deciding there's a prophecy in the Lord of the Rings, which fucking the animated Return of the King did, is a name. Fucking prophecies. No. <laughs> I forgot about that. Fucking Al 
Alice in Wonderland got a prophecy. Oh god, the anime, the live action. Yeah, and the shit live show action. One. Yeah. That was stupid. That whole movie was stupid. Yeah, the whole movie's dumb, but like, uh, Brad, it's Alice in Wonderland. You don't need a prophecy. There's no what the fuck. You know what I'm amazed by? You'd think that Tim Burton doing Alice in Wonderland would be amazing. Yeah. Like, because he's not yeah. good at writing stories. So just, here's a story, go do your awesome visual shit. And then he try, he makes a really complicated story and really uninteresting visuals. Like, Tim, yeah, Tim. Definitely the, mm. Yeah, that was weird. We already had, we don't need a dark, a dark and weird Alice in Wonderland. We have American McGee already. This just seemed like American McGee light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Play American McGee's Alice, by the way. I am very... planning to let's play that. That's a good game. But anyway, back to the Bionicle, yeah. the Mask of Light. Listen, here's the thing. Bionicle, there's a lot of shit that happens in the movie. But... <laughs> it just happens so quick. It's all action. And it's all action. Like, just all of it. So it's fucking insane. They ru- So, uh, Jaller and... Takua. Takua. Go on a journey. On a crab. Uh, to drop the one ring into more... No, to, to find the Toa of Light and give him the mask. I don't see a difference. But, wait, um... No, that's... If he doesn't have the mask, what's his face? Yeah. Because Be- <laughs> we see, like, the masks move like a face. Yeah. So, um... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you start putting thought into this film, <laughs> it starts to become a little bit dumb. Yeah, a, a little. A little. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a little tad. A little tadpole. A little tadpole. Yeah, they end up in a forest. No, but first, uh, the Rakshi. Oh, fuck, right. The Bakuda's like, oh, shit, they got the mask. I'm going to send my fucking Robo Nazgul. My Robo Bug Nazgul scary monsters. They're pretty terrifying. To go... Turn into skis, into skidoos, and fl- to jet skis and fly <laughs> to Takoro to just destroy the shit, the city for no reason. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> if the mask isn't there, uh, and break like, it anyway. And we're scratch good. Takua in the no, um, Tahu yes. in the face, so the scratch and his eyes start glowing green, and no one is worried <laughs> yeah, at all. Like, <laughs> no. And so the city sinks into lava. Maybe you shouldn't have built your city over a volcano. The fire ones, Merrick. Just... Then they should have built a fireproof city, shouldn't they? I, I agree. <laughs> you think they planned for this shit, but no. So they all go off, and oh. then the crab and its two riders are. I think the crab's called Paku. Yeah. Uh, they're in. Uh, they're in the forest. Yep. The forest jungle, and they get attacked by a bear. Yep. Robot bear. Yeah. It's just a robot bear. It's a robot bear. And that's, then... That's what it is. Liwa... Uh, well, then a vine grabs the bear, and then Liwa comes down. It's like, ha! Ah, I speak weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help you on your quest. Here, ride this giant four-winged hummingbird. That's also a robot. That you've never learned how to fly, but you could have fucking learned today. Oh, how does he fly? Don't worry, he flies by himself. Yes, he... he... This kind of annoys me, because even the toy was like clear. It's like, hey, he does this thing with his swords, yeah. but it's to glide. Oh, that's fair. It's okay. like, it's... Okay, it's not fair, because his swords have are full of holes, and he holds two scimitars pointed at his waist. Yes, but at least he's not going, like, fucking up. Because <laughs> he's... He can't fly, he can just kind of glide. He, like, okay. jumps off a thing and... Sure. Not in this movie, though. No, in this movie, just straight up... fucking goes. Takes off! <laughs> like, fucking Mach 1. Just out of there. And then they fly for about a minute. Give it and minute. end up on an ice... They cra- The... Jaller and Takua crash the hummingbird on the ice mountain. Somehow. And then a really cool drum beat comes in. And it's like, oh, the, the something called the Rakshi have destroyed your city. Have a good day. And he fucks off. <laughs> and then they're walking through a blizzard... Thing, you see, this movie just kind of stuff just goes. Yeah, there's no. It just stop. goes. It's just, it's one, you're in the jungle. You're in a fucking ice mountain. Before that, well, we got we got to get all the places introduced yeah, we, and all the characters introduced. Yeah, we got to get it all done. And then they're on the icy mountain, and then there's a frozen Borok, which the movie does not bother to explain. 
But I fortunately did. Then we just watched it and I forgot about the fourth of four. <laughs> and then Co- th- there's Cop- Copaca. The cool one. He's because he's eyes. He's also Scott McNeil. Yeah, of course he is. And he has like a robo eye and a shield and a double sword. And then they yeah. get atta- attacked by Rakshi. Proceed the rest of the movie. So like he that. gives them a scape. He gives them a shield to use as a toboggan, like in Willow. And then he skates with his swords. That's a common thing, by the way. And then the Rakshi fall in the lake, and he freezes the lake. He does freeze the lake. He's the only one who manages to do a fucking thing against <laughs> the Rakshi. Yeah. And then they what? Uh, they go into the weird caves? Yeah, they go into the Otar... O- the the Earth People's Highway. Ona Ona Matapia Highway. Yes. Ona Nui? I think so. Ona, Ona Ta. I, I, I'm going to be real. I don't remember. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, nor do I care. So they're riding a crab down the tunnel. They use the mask as a light source. K- Kapaka fucks off because he does. Yeah. Um. Takua, like, then Takua fucks off. <laughs> just for a little bit because he and, wanted to get these glowing plants. And takes the crab... Well, no, he fucks off, gets spoken to by Makuta. Yeah. It's like, give me the mask, you're a pussy. Takuo goes, no! He goes, well, so your he friend's go- gonna die. So he goes up to Jala, says, fuck you, I'm taking my crab and I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jala's like, alright, and continues on his own. Okay, bye. We end up back and into the Earth People's Earth home. People, and he rides in on a on a he rides in on his crab, his forward walking robot crab. I hate it. Love the crab. <laughs> the crab's great. I just don't understand. You know what? I, 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 after the Earth scene, like uh, the scene on the mountain, yeah, the crab the crab never shows up. No. So we can assume the crab is dead. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. They eat the crab. <laughs> they just eat the crab. They cracked it open and ate its robot crab meat. Look. So the the rocks, all the Toa show up in the no, all the Toa but Kopaku, of course, <laughs> show up underground, and more Roxy show up. A red one, a white one, and a and a black one. Yeah, the ones that were frozen are the green one, the blue one, and the brown one, and they make Tahu evil, so he gets a continuous point. stream of water that does nothing to him. And then he gets frozen by Kapaku showing up to be badass. And then the the Earth Toa... Oh, the... One Toa throws a, a crab claw. The brown Toa throws a crab claw to Rakshi and, cat, and like, locks his hands up. Arms, yeah. And then the Earth Toa, because I really don't want to say the black Toa, brings down the ceiling on them. On everyone, because he's everyone. an idiot. Because he's dumb. And then they all they he, they drown Tahu because they're suddenly well, no, out of the cave. No, first, first they do that whole sword shit. Yeah, they blast him with ice and fire at the same time, so, which is incredibly painful for him. Because, yes, duh. And then they drown him. <laughs> yeah, because Gali makes a bubble of water that covers his entire body, and then he stops moving. I mean, his mask is not like corrupted anymore, well, but yeah. he's clearly very dead. <laughs> And so they're all fine, and then Jollar's climbing up a mountain, and then the crab shows up. The Kua comes back. They get to the they, top of the mountain. All the Toa show up, and all the Rachi show up, and then Takua puts the Mask of Light on and turns into Takanuva. A- after his friend dies. Yeah, after Jala is just straight up murdered. A- incinerated. killed. Yeah. He's dead. He's just dead. Oh my god. Yeah, by the way, Takua was the it was the Toa, Toa all Takanuva, all the on. whole time. The whole time. And so, they gather all of the Matorans and the Rakshi, and not the Rakshi, they're all dead. All the Rakshi are dead now. All the Rakshis are dead by now. And the his, the weapon of Takanuva is a Kohli stick, which is now a scythe, kind of, sort yeah. of, for some reason. Uh, Liwa, Tahu, and... Kopaka have swords. Yes. Like two swords. Except Kopaka can make his two swords into a Darth Maul sword and have a shield. Yeah. Gali has a pair of battle axes that in the toy she can put on her feet and make into flippers. Shut up. <laughs> That's great. 
That's oh, that's fucking funny. Oh my god. Oh, Paco can put his swords on his feet and have escapes. Liwa, you've seen, he can fly with his swords. He's the only one that actually he and and Tahu who can make his swords into a surfboard are the right. only ones that actually get referenced. Um, uh, put Potahu, put potassium, can stick his two crab claws together to make a ball, and he can kick it at people. Coley was originally just soccer, but played with boulders, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have um, Earth Toa's weapons, because he had a pair of chainsaws that he'd stick on his feet and have tank treads. Bruh. He had the best weapon. What the fuck was that in the movie? Nothing. He was just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's sad. That's and so, so they... Takanuba builds a flying motorcycle out of the corpses of Rakshi. And puts his dead friend's mask right on and the one front. And by the way, the Rakshi are mech suits containing worms. Yes. And he puts a worm in the in the thing and rides it for about two minutes into a wall. It basically acts like a pretty good ass, like, GPS system. Yeah, because that which is Makuta's will return to him. Yeah. So he goes into the room and he fights Makuta, mm -hmm. who does not look as cool as this toy. They play... Coley, but not really. Yeah, see, he says he fights him, but, like, they just kind of throw a ball at each other. Yeah, Ta Takanuba's getting his shit pushed in until all the Matorans show up, and then he just kind of wins. He does that cool... But he, but Makuta cool. collapses the cavern, so he says something about serving the Mask of Shadows, so Takanuba jumps on him, rips Takenuba his mask rips. off, it's... and this makes him fuse... Well, they fell into, like, the weird water. Yeah, they fell into shit. the water, and then they emerge as... It doesn't say it, but the thing's name is Makuta Nuva. That's kind of cool. Because, obviously, if you bought Makuta... The Makuta t t uh, Lego set and the Takanuva Lego set, you can make Makuta Nuva. That's badass. Because that was one of the selling gimmicks yeah. of, the, of the line. And he holds up the thing and then brings Jawler back to life because he can do that. And then he dies, and the mask of light falls on the ground, and so some bullshit happens. Thank God, he does die. Fuck, two deaths. <laughs> Actually, a lot of deaths. So far, we have like eight death, nine deaths. I really thought of it. Yeah, he just fucking dies. He doesn't. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, and then they get to the end of the tunnel. And then... The weird symbols there. And they wake up Matanui somehow. And then an, then Vakama says, My island home, where new legends await. And then the movie's over. Yeah. This is a bizarre experience. It's uh, like... you you I, I never realized how fucking strange this movie yeah, was this until I had to sit down and tell someone what happens in the movie. And the answer is not a whole hell of a lot. Not a lot, but that, that nothing happens so fucking quickly that, like... Next thing you know, an hour's done. You've done the movie. It's just that easy. It's fucking weird. <sighs> I think you definitely have to be a, a like a fan of Bionicle to really like enjoy this. Yeah. Because at this point you're just seeing all the cool toys fucking fucking around and stuff. Yeah, but the thing is, even as a fan, as a kid, fuck the movie. I just want to go play with my Bionicle. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I had. I remember I had the brown Rakshi and the green Rakshi. Pretty sure I had the green one. Yeah. I had Takanuva. I had Tahunuva. I don't remember which ones I had. I had Galinuva. Oh, damn. I had Standard Ass Tahu. I had a blue Borok and a black Borok. And the blue and black Borok call as well. Damn. I had Vakama. The, the damn, Turaga, yeah. And he was, he was cool. He was cheap. And I had one of the green first Matorans. As, that was a McDonald's toy. Oh, I remember, yeah. Yeah. He threw a disc. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Shit. Oh, this movie is something. Mm. I can't speak for its sequels. Well, sequels. Sequel prequels. Sequel prequels. Uh, because I've never seen them. Really? But, yeah. We're gonna have to at some point. We're also gonna watch some Mega Bloks of Dragons films. Oh boy. 
Yeah, I'm not necessarily sure if you're going to have to watch it, but someone's going to have to watch it. <laughs> someone is going to have to watch it. Now, the problem is, no matter what I put on and am vindictive about, I'm going to have to watch anything either way. Yeah. So you get for running the fucking show. Uh -huh. that's, hey, that's what happens. Yeah. I, I can't even have an episode where I'm not here, because I still have to be here. Yeah. And be around the movie watching if I have two of you do it. Yeah. Because someone has to run the fucking recording. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's fucking really strange. It really is strange. Coley is stuck. Like, why could they have kept... Like, they? I don't know why they had the hammers into Coley. Maybe I... Okay, I know why they did it. They did it to give the Martin, Martin, um, the Met, Matoran toys a weapon. Yeah. Instead of just the throwing disc, they had the, uh, the yeah, Coley stick the as a things. weapon. But it just made more sense in the first iteration, where they just played cold. They just played soccer with a rock. Yeah, I like how <laughs> I under. I don't. And it, even, it wasn't even like complicated soccer with no, teams. Okay. It's like person, person kicking rocks at each other's goal. It was Scottish as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. He's just like, hey, win the Coley match. You just hear like, the fuck's Coley. Then you watch it being played, and, and you ask the same What the question. fuck's Coley? My favorite is the scoreboard, where it's just fucking big metal spheres. I feel sorry for two people. One, the guy whose job it is to push the things into the holders. And two, the poor motherfucker whose job it is to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe that's why they have the lava. Just dump the lava on the boulders to melt them. Hey, fucking maybe. I, I I would agree to that. Oh, this movie's so weird. Oh, uh, but like episode one seventy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you gotta watch it though. It's all right. It's all right. It's 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 only seventy three minutes. You'll be done in no time. Yeah, it's like one of those things you can throw on in the but background. The thing is, like, I rewatched Yu Gi Oh. Sure. And then I went out and bought the Yu Gi Oh cards. As as you as you do. The problem is, I cannot go out and buy Bionicle. Because they no longer make or sell Bionicle. Yeah, it's sad. Like, actually, let, let's go on the are we, eBay. Are we, we going to find out how much a Bionicle costs? Yeah, we're going to get really, really oh, sad and really oh, angry we didn't keep our Bionicles. Mine's somewhere. I gotta find mine. And if I ever find mine, it'll be the happiest day of my life. Uh, yeah. I was trying to buy a copy of Clock Tower for your show. Yeah, no, we said, fuck. Yeah, when we found out it was... Twenty four ninety nine. I think that's like without this. Uh, the that's U S. Up uh, thirty two bucks. Oh, it's the Japanese it's, version. Yeah. Do out. That's why it's twenty five bucks. Uh, if it was the American version, I think it's like. Let's uh. 70. Let's go for a basic one. Uh, Tahunuva. Yeah, Bionicle Tahunuva. Symbolized Bionicle. Sure. Hundred and seventy bucks sealed. Oh, no, bud. That's not okay. That's not okay, bud. Oh. Oh, that's all sick. And it's only $157? Oh, no. Plus only $66 shipping. Oh, I didn't even see the fucking shipping card. That's... No. That's not bad, though. No, it isn't. It's U.S., though. Yeah. So, that's a pain in the ass. God. Lego, the fuck? Bring back Bionicle. Come on. Oh, Lego Knights. Oh, no. I remember Lego Knights, too. Not those Lego Knights. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> that's the this is a Heath Ledger joke. Okay, okay, the Dark Knight. All right. Oh, uh, okay. That's fair. I don't, I don't think I remember Lego Knights. Maybe I do, and I was just too obsessed with Bionicle to care. Oh, I miss my old Bionicles now. Lego Knight Vladek. Yeah, there we go. It's a badass name. He was the villain. Of course he was the villain. <laughs> yeah. This is what he looked like. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. This is starting to bring back a little memories. And then we had V2. Eh. Which is a lot cooler looking. Yeah. Oh, uh, Knight's Kingdom was awesome. I had the entire set, of, the entire first set of Knight's Kingdom. This is basically just medieval Bionicle. Yeah, but there was a game involved. Oh, Jesus Christ. The game was, because they had the whack each other action feature. It was, see if you can knock your, who, whoever knocks the other shield off first wins. 
And then they made it more complicated by having trading cards that would go on in the play shield place. And when you knock it off, it has an effect. <laughs> eh. Yeah, they managed to make a more complex version of Magic the Gathering. On fucking Legos? Yes. What the fuck? I... What? <laughs> yes. It's, it's so weird. What the hell? What the fuck, Lego? Why am I gonna do this? No. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't do that. Oh, yeah, is that is that what they are? Over there? Is that the trading cards? Yeah. Oh, They'd have a little circle in the center that would go on his... Uh... Oh, dear God. Yeah. <laughs> it's... What They'd the come fuck? in little canisters shaped like towers. <laughs> so weird. That's so weird. Uh, back when, when Lego Man had yellow skin. Do they not anymore? No. That's weird. Like the movie based ones are flesh colored. Oh, you know, I never really thought about it, but yeah, they are. Oh, that. Ooh, him with the cape looks cool. Oh, damn. Fucking Legos, dude. This fan art looks damn cool, too. <laughs> I've never been intimidated by Lego before. <laughs> <laughs> now he have. You have Vladek and a scorpion sigil. Man, Lego knows how to make some pretty cool shit. Yeah, they, they, they do. And then they just don't make that cool shit again. They don't. Like, I don't even know if, like, Lego, uh, not Lego, but I don't even know if Bionicle could come back. Not really. It's not really. I feel like the novelty's kind of worn off now. Yeah. It's sad. Remember Zevoz? Zevoz? Yes. I, I always wanted to own a Zevoz. I never did. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I yeah. always wanted the wolf one. Yeah, oh my god. Remember they had that, that, that website with the video game? Yes. That was cool. I do remember that. Bionic had one, too. Oh, yeah. By Matt Nui Online, man. Yeah. It was awesome. I remember that. Fuck. The point-and-click adventure game. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Ronaldo did a lot of stuff back then. So how would you give this movie? Uh I give it I give it, I give it uh, three coley sticks. I don't know what that represents. I'm going to give this movie thing. lava bones. Lava bones? Cuz you could have been lava bones. Yeah, could have been. Could have been, but I'm not. Oh, this movie's charming. We've done 107. So end season 16. Wahoo. Of Mindbreakers. How does it feel? Kind of, kind of itchy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next time we got another movie lined up for you. Back on the usual track of horror, we got a cult classic featuring Kevin Bacon. I'll leave it at that. Bye. <laughs>